Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Tips Bench Tuesday with Hobby King. Today we're going to discuss programming Turnigy Plus 32 Series ESCs with the Turnigy Plus 32 Series programming card. Bear in mind that the new Plus 32 Series ESCs are not compatible with the older BESC programming card that you used to be able to use with the older Plus Series. So just make sure that if you get these 32 Series ESCs you need this 32 Series card. Now it's very, very simple to program and use, and I'm going to show you that right now. All you do is connect the ESC to the card, and just double check polarity. It's indicated right here on the top of the card. And I'm going to get close-ups of all this to show you up close and in detail. So plug it in, and then plug in the ESC. That motor sound indicates that it's connected properly, and this is going to initialize right in a moment. There you go. And, okay, so let's say... One of the first things I always do is uh, check the brake setting. So I'm going to scroll down to where it says brake strength. And right now the brake is turned off. Okay, so let's say I want the brake on. I just simply scroll over to 100% and press enter. And that beep indicates that we've saved that parameter. Okay? And there's other parameters. They're all listed here. They come in the manual, which is in the box. Um, so if you have any you know, thoughts about stuff, you can just look at the manual and look at the card itself. But it's all there. Very, very simple. So like I said, I'm going to get some close-ups of this for you just to show you exactly what's happening there. And then I'm going to come right back and uh, talk to you about calibrating ESCs. Okay. So to go up and down, you just use the up and down button. Very, very simple. And you just go down to the setting you want. Let's say brake strength. And scroll over. Let's turn it on at 100. There it is. That's saved at 100. If we want to turn that back off, Again, we can actually just stay there, but here we go, and just go over to off, and that's that. Very, very simple. All right, so while we're on the subject, let's talk about calibrating ESCs, okay? It's very, very simple to do that as well. And why should you calibrate your ESC? Well, the bottom line is that when you get it, it may not be set properly for your radio's throttle, okay? It may not understand the low and the high. Um, and a lot of people, we, we get a lot of claims where people say, my ESC isn't working. I say, okay, well, the first thing I always ask is, did you calibrate it? And they're often like, no, I didn't calibrate it. I've never needed to calibrate an ESC before. Well, you should. You really should. Um, because that way you know for sure that you've got, you've captured the lowest setting and the highest setting of your radio's throttle. <clears throat> to me, that's important. Okay, so let's do that. So really easy. <clears throat> I'm going to use a Turnigy servo tester to simulate a throttle. Okay, so I'm going to plug this in, and I'm going to turn this servo testers power all the way up, simulating the throttle being turned all the way up. Okay, if you were on a transmitter, you would put the stick all the way up. You would you turn the radio on first and then turn your stick all the way up. Okay, same thing. So, all the way up, and then I power the ESC. That captures the high, turn it down. That captures the low. That means it's ready to go. Okay, so now I've got full throttle, and the brake is still on. <clears throat> so let's go back and revisit our programming card. Programming card. Let's turn that brake off. <clears throat> and just re-demonstrate all this. Okay, it's connected. This is going to reinitialize like that. And we're going to scroll down to the brake setting. And we're going to turn that off. Okay, now the brake is turned off. Disconnect that. Unplug that, reconnect this, turn this back all the way up, recalibrate again, power up. Okay, gets the high, gets the low, it's all set. Now we should have no break. There we go. All right. So that's it. Programming and calibrating a Plus 32 Series ESC. The calibration procedure is pretty much the same for any other ESC. Bear in mind that surface ESCs for cars or boats or other surface vehicles will likely have a three-stage calibration because you need to set neutral, full forward, and full reverse. The ESC's manual should cover all that, but if you ever have any, if you ever have any questions, just reach out to us on support. We have live chat 24-7 and our support ticket system as well, and we can always help you with any questions you have about anything. And also stay current with us on YouTube and social media, which is Facebook and Instagram and all that good stuff. And uh, till next time, signing off.
Robin Focus, take six. <laughs> Start over. Why would you use a brake on a plane? Gliders with folder prop, folding <clears throat> props. Now I understand. Yeah, because uh, for a lot of planes you don't want them windmilling because it causes drag. So you know the walruses and <clears throat> stuff like that. The less drag you have on a glider, the better. Okay.